Mohamed Delji, at 43, is Africa's youngest billionaire with a net of over $1.5 billion. He is the CEO of Mohammed Enterprises Tanzania Limited, one of the largest industrial conglomerates in East Africa, with interests in manufacturing, distribution, trading, haulage, storage, and real estate. Born in Tanzania, Mo, as he is fondly referred to, studied in Georgetown University in the U.S. Upon his return, he joined the family business. Our family business uh, started off in the late 60s by my grandmother and uh, my father. And during that time, what they used to do is buy goods and retail. Uh, when we talk retail, we don't talk it in today's context where you know you buy a 50 kilo bag and you break it down to one kilo so it was retail uh, to the maximum his family business was essentially a trading house buying and selling soft commodities and finished products but more so an opportunity in manufacturing and Mohammed enterprises tanzania limited moved from an import export business to manufacturing so we import crude palm oil and we fractionate and we get palm sterine, which we use to manufacture cooking fats. Mohammed Enterprises Tanzania Limited, as a group, make products across 21 different categories, outselling the global brands. The group controls a substantial market share in Tanzania. So all in all, basically, the group contributes a little above 3% of the GDP in Tanzania. Um, and we are very proud to be employing 28,000 people in terms of direct employment. The group is also venturing into textile mills. Today, they have four textile mills, three in Tanzania and the other in Mozambique. We have a capacity of over 100 million meters of cloth every year. Uh, to put that into a little bit of context, when you talk about 100, 100, 100 million meters of cloth, that equals to 100,000 kilometers of cloth. So basically you can grow the cloth around the world two times over and you'll still have cloth that is uh, left. Mo now says his biggest advantage in cornering the textile market was the fact that Tanzania and Mozambique produce cotton in abundance. The cost of labor and power is relatively cheap compared to other countries, giving the group a competitive edge. In a bid to encourage business to produce locally, the Tanzanian government went ahead and imposed import taxes on finished and semi-finished goods. In Tanzania, if you want to bring in semi-finished goods, you have to pay 10%. If you want to bring in finished goods, you have 25%. And then the EAC puts it under sensitive goods where, where, where they tax, tax even more higher to be able to protect the local industry. The biggest challenge in the manufacturing sector in the African continent is that there are very few strong development banks or export credit scheme agencies that can offer a long loan tenure at competitive rates. If you want to industrialize or you want to go into agri, you need to invest long term. So at the same time, you need to have long-term money available to be able to execute uh, that vision. We're working with Kenya Commercial Bank. In the next 12 to 16 months, we're planning to set up 12 different industries. Mohammed Enterprises Tanzania Limited Group is the second largest employer in Tanzania from the government, and the group is a believer in the single African market. Mo emphasizes on the importance of agro-processing and value addition. If Africa wants to get out of the cycle of poverty, we need to make sure that nothing in our continent is being exported in raw terms. Africa as a whole should come up with policies that will enable value addition to cash crops produced on the continent. Today, if you look at uh, Tanzania, and we're the third or the fourth largest cotton producers, yet you see that 85% of our cotton is exported gin cotton, and that should be unacceptable. So, not only Tanzania, but many, many countries in this continent 
have to have such policies to make sure that we value add our total crop that comes out from our continent. Mohammed Enterprises Tanzania Limited is looking to expand its operation in Kenya and other parts of Africa. Mohammed's next target is to generate $5 billion of revenues by 2020 and employ over 100,000 people across Africa. Mm -hmm.